Hello and welcome back to Tokyo School Life. Oh, last time, remember, we were in the hospital visiting Sakura and now I think things will turn out a bit better. <coughs> we hope. So without further ado, let's get into what could possibly be the final or if not final episode of this novel play. Like so. So I find out that Cherry Blossom has entered the chat room. That's all she needs to say. Leaving our sentiments behind, the passage of ordinary days marches by. September comes, and a new school semester begins. After summer break, the school is enveloped in a restless atmosphere. I guess people brag about how they got over the summer in any country. Maybe because they started going out during the summer, but I catch sight of girls and boys who didn't seem that close before having friendly talks. I'm jealous of them. Unfortunately, our family at Tomoe Dormitory can't feel so lighthearted. Of course, it's because of Sakura's situation. The day of Sakura's surgery is already drawing near. Also, the day I have to return to my country also gets closer. Hour by hour. Sakura. Good morning. Here's some food from Aoi. She says strawberry jam and blueberry jam. Mm. And this is a this is a hair clip that Karin chose for you because she said it would suit your hair. Also, they're both sorry they they both said they're sorry they couldn't come. Since I came on a since I came on an overnight bus instead of a Shinkansen, it's not that expensive. I'm staying the night in a manga cafe too. Every weekend I've been going back and forth to visit Sakura at the hospital in Kyoto. Karin and Aoi have things they have to take care of, so they can't come. It's just my special privilege as a tourist. It's really okay. I'm doing it because I want to. My herb skips a bit. The kindness that Sakura mentions is called Kui in Japanese. It means the feeling of being considerate of others. In Japanese, some words are pronounced the same way but have different meanings. Kui. It can mean liking a person or love. For instance, I heard I heard it as that meaning and got flustered. Sakura gets eagerly fixated on that subject. I swear they need to 
relook at this stuff. Slow down when you're trying to make this kind of thing, you know? You know, slow down when you're trying to make a story, you know? Don't try to like... Don't let a finger slip, you know? At the place I'm staying at? First, you have to pay to rent your space. There's all kind of different... There's all different grades of spaces, including fully featured private rooms. Yeah, it sounds like a hotel. Yeah, the drinks are self-service, where you get your own refills, like at a restaurant. And the space I'm staying in is more narrow, with a divider in between the space next to it. And there's a computer in there, so I can play games and go online. In the common areas, there are shelves full of manga, like a library. You can take whatever you want from there and read it. I've never went to a manga cafe before. As many times as I went to AX, yeah, I know, I haven't, I haven't went to a manga cafe. They didn't have... <coughs> Excuse me. They didn't have very... They didn't have very many old manga, though. Mainly just the new and popular series. It might not be enough for you. That depends on your taste. Then let's go together when you're discharged from the hospital. I'll come back again. Well, I'll have to pay it for it myself, so I need to get a part-time job, though. What was the first manga you ever read? Yeah, if you don't know, that's a joke on um, Otamu Tezuka's masterpiece known as Blackjack. And for those who don't know what Blackjack's about, it's about this renegade doctor who technically puts a price on living, especially to the um, the multimillionaire bigwigs. And if they ever have some kind of problem, mainly it's it, mainly it's like the the higher up kind of people would technically have problems and even even the mob, the Yakuza, whatever, they would come to him because he is the best at what he does. And he'll do it for a price. Now that doesn't say that um, he doesn't do, you know, he doesn't do anybody younger, you know. He can do kids too, but you know, that depends. That depends on the drive they have for themselves. So. It's a really good manga and as well as a great anime series. If anybody who has never watched Black Jack before, I recommend it. It's by Tezuka of all people. Come on now. <clears throat> Oh, then, huh? 
I read all the graphic novels. Black Joker is a masterpiece. Uh, is a masterpiece classic manga about medical care. That's got a lot of pretty grotesque scenes, though, doesn't it? Understandable. Yeah, that's a bit much for a kid. Whoa. Sounds like a little nightmare. The genius Dr. Black Joker is an unlicensed doctor. He can cure any disease, but the cost is extremely high. It's not that he's money hungry, it's just he's testing the patient's resolve. As just why I said, Black Jack, in which the joke is actually, you know, in which the joke Black Joker is based off on is just about that. And just what my character said, he can cure any disease, just the cost is extremely high. He's not money hungry, he just asked the question, how much is your life worth to you? This human drama isn't just a simple good versus evil story. It has an astonishing deepness to it that makes it extremely interesting. That's why it's called a masterpiece. Well, to be honest, my first manga was Yu Yu Hakusho. It's one of those series that, you know, I really wanted to finish because I actually started reading that when I was living in Japan. I might order the rest of it on I might order the rest of it online because I've lost track of it since I see. So it's hard for you to find friends with the same interests. Meh. Most of the people I've I've lost in touch with they don't they don't know I'm really into that sort of thing. Although my friends in in the RCO, most of them like anime. And most of them don't watch enough anime. Or they probably don't have time to watch anime. Which do you like? Apples or oranges? Oh my god, it's starting to turn into an interview now. Oranges are pretty good when when they're ripe enough. Especially navel. Oh, you use apples when you make sweets a lot, so I figured you must like apples more. Kotamika? Kotats. That's a unique kind of home here to Japan. 
under a short table that's only tens of centimeters high, there's a heater. You put a futon on top, stick your legs in, and warm yourself up. It's made to be used in a room that you sit directly on the floor like a tatami room. I bet it is. Oh, really? Sounds nice. I want to try Kotamika. I will. I'll save money again and definitely come in winter. Cutting got called in on. Cutting got called on in Japanese class, and she didn't know the answer, she used the excuse, It's because I studied math yesterday. Of course, but next she got called on in math class. She's trying to make another excuse, but the teacher scolded her, saying, I thought you were supposed to be perfectly prepared for math class. Seems that the staff room, the teachers talked about it. They scolded her to not make up stories. She was crying about how you better hurry back and help her study or she'll be done for. Okay, so Kanye's a dummy when it comes to um, classes. The next day. Start talking about the future. That changed ever since the day Sakura wept in front of Jojuni. Uh, yeah. I think showing even the not so nice size of yourself is part of being family. I don't know. Might have been a little too shocking to forget. I can't really put into words. Well, but I think that's a really great thing. Yes, 
That's the whole trick about living. It's all mental. This might be a little rude, but I want to take this chance to ask you something. I caused you to act so shamefully. Oh, no, no, no. I just wonder why you gave up on yourself so much. It's called taking a risk. You thought if you got your hopes up, you'd be let down? So it's better not to get your hopes up in the first place, hmm? I understand that single way of thinking. I felt that way before three I felt that way once before three years ago. I'm semi-cynical. I think the effort you put into your manga was a little much for a bystander. That's where it all ends up. If you get your hopes up, you could get hurt. But you can't get by without any hope. That's the kind of beings we are. It's as I've always said before. No matter what happens, I'm not going to live my life in fear. I have to keep living. And that goes the same with anything. You know. I have to take a stand sometimes. Say, no, I don't like this. Or leave me alone, or I understand everything. Thanks for everything, but would you kindly leave me alone? I don't remember saying anything that important, though. No, I'm really sorry. Sakura makes a funny smile. Can I buy you a drink? I hope the bread is good. Okay, I'll go get some. Wow, you, cer you certainly have a sophisticated taste. 
Got it! On my way down to the lobby, the elevator door opens, and I realize I forgot something. Oh no, I left my wallet in the room! I hastily jump back into the elevator that just closed and repeatedly push the button for the seventh floor. The nurse at the nurse station is giving me a confused look. I'm kind of embarrassed. Man, I'm such a knucklehead. I can... I totally forgot my wallet. When I open the door, an unexpected scene opens before my eyes. <laughs> Woo! Ah! 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 I'm gonna go! Thank you! I hurriedly close the hosp hospital room door j just in case I slowly, carefully wait one minute. A nurse passing by looks puzzled. It's nothing! Smile. Smile. I slowly back! Good fine! Definitely slow back! Both red in the face. Sorry, wasn't trying to peek in. Sorry, wasn't trying to peek on you. Uh, hi. I take my wallet from my bag. Okay, then. I'm gonna... Uh, uh, what, what, what is it? Okay, back, but fine, but, huh? <laughs> you can't wash yourself, I see. You can't reach behind there. Uh, okay. But I'm sure that, um, Oh, oh, I see, yeah. No, 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 that, that's fine, but it, it, is it okay for me to do it? Oh, shit. Well, okay, um. Um. Okay. Give me a second here. No, I'm actually going to keep this running. I'm actually going to keep this running because A, for, I'm seeing my, um, my printer go off. Everything in my room around me just went off for a hot second. So, that's why I said, oh, um, that and my TV just went off and, apparently I am back online. I am technically just going away here. I am not going, well, actually, okay, we're good. Whew. I seriously got freaked the fuck out there. Like, oh shit. Like, I thought my, I thought my recording was like going to go off or something. I don't know. Because it's just, it's just me and my light. So, nothing really happening. And then, oh, that, 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 that's fine. But is it okay for, for me to do it? I'm going to see if I can cut away. Well then, I take the wet towel. Sakura exposes her back. Thank you for just exposing your back and not the front. Thank you. Her skin is white and smooth. My eyes are fixated on it. 
Her pristine back is lightly dotted with sweat. More than captivating, she seems fleeting, like a work of art. Feels like I'm touching something fragile. I timidly touch the towel to Sakura's skin. <laughs> I stop my hand reflect reflexively. After stopping for about two breaths, I start moving my hand again. I try to move gently to not hurt her. Yes. This much? With more force than before, I wipe Sakura's back. Just innocently, diligently. Manga. Hmm? Watashitachi no manga. Saigo no one page da ke tochou de owatchaimashita. I know, right? Yeah. Byonki ga naotta ra kansei sase yo to omou desu. Yeah. Good idea. Really good. They don't call me Ichigo for nothing. Of course. More like I don't want to let anyone else have that right. I'm definitely going to be the first to read it. I also have something I want to say to you, Sakura. Hi. No cock blocking, no cock blocking, no cock blocking. So, when your illness is cured, I'll say it to you when I read your manga. I feel mysteriously content. Sakura probably feels the same. Well, then I'd better get going. No, I changed the flight. I'll leave from the Kansai International Airport tomorrow afternoon. I want to stay in a hotel at least for a night, but I don't have the money. My short-term exchange is ending. I'm gonna fly back to my country tomorrow. I went a little overboard and came to see Sakura again. Then, Sakura, do your best on your surgery. You said yourself that hell starts with the mind, right? That's my girl. Sakura's surgery is this weekend. Of course, I can't stay in Japan that long. Parting is so disappointing. Still, I don't want to make a movie face. So I encourage Sakura with a smile. Sakura, take care. It's been one week since I returned to my country. Sakura hasn't contacted me. 
No matter how the surgery ended, some buyers should be able to tell me something, and yet, no contact at all. I don't know what to think. Maybe I should ask Karin or Aoi. But I feel like, but I feel if I contact them, my bad premonition of what happened will be true. And I can't quite bring myself to push the send button. As I fret, a week passes. The more time passes, the harder it is to contact them. As I worry, two weeks pass. Then three weeks pass. At the end of the year, a thick envelope arrives from Japan. The manga we drew is included in its entirety in an envelope with no return address. Only the last page is missing. Why does this feel like I'm just reading out a scene from myself, yourself? Winter passes and spring comes. No contact arrives from Sakura. And that's it. to what to say and why show me that um well um I'm at a loss for words here I really am in the many novel plays I've actually ever done, yes, I'm going to actually change these games that I do to novel plays instead of just let's plays. These are novel plays. Um, this is the first time I ever heard or felt something like this, and I'm honestly at a loss for words. Maybe there's a bit of ending there? I am not sure. Wait. There's something. Please don't let it in like this. Oh, thank goodness! Half a year has passed without contact from Sakura. The season has changed to spring. I've returned to I've returned to Japan once again. I get off the train and walk the nostalgic path towards Tomoe's shrine. Yeah, it's feel like myself yourself. The street is is the street is colored with cherry blossom trees known as sakura trees in Japan in full bloom in full bloom and the petals falling in the wind makes for a magical scene these are all sakura trees since ancient since ancient times Japanese have loved and felt sympathy for the sakura flowers which bloom for only a short time in spring and then flippantly fall Also, sakura trees are where sakura's name comes from. Because her name is Cherry Blossom. That's what sakura means. Cherry Blossom. Since she, uh, she hasn't contacted me for half a year, I'm prepared now. I at least want to see the flowers which have the same name as sakura and settle my feelings. The sakura petals fluttering in the wind are ever so fleeting. It remember it makes me remember Sakura's fleeting smile. My heart incredibly hmm. Why am I reading this one? 
<sighs> I'm getting really emotional. Pardon. <clears throat> My heart immediately begins to hurt. Oh, I can't take this. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. I'm even singing a hallucination. It's almost like Sakura's right over there. Sakura? Masaka? Huh? This is strange. I'm not just seeing things. I'm hearing things too. I reach out my hand. I touch her face. I feel her cool and smooth skin. This is skin with blood flowing under it. She's not a ghost. Sakura starts to run away. I quickly grab her arm. Wait! Why are you running? Is it really you, Sakura? I hug Sakura tightly. Why can't my character why can't I see my character doing this? I repeat her name again and again. Oh. If this is a dream, I don't want to wake up. I finally calm down and let go of Sakura. When I think logically, I just did something pretty embarrassing. No, sir, what you did was what every single coming of a story ending should have. The male protagonist actually holding the female protagonist in his arms. Sakura, if your surgery was a success, why didn't you contact me? What? Clinical trial? <laughs> then now <laughs> I see, but thank goodness. Really, thank goodness. Or in Japanese, it would be. Ah, so. Demo. Yukata. Hontoni.
Sakura. Sakura! I hugged Sakura tightly again. I don't know for sure, but I have a feeling Sakura's gonna be okay. Still, you should have contacted me earlier. Sakura then pulls out a thick envelope and holds it out to me. Sakura takes out the last page of the manga. Yes. I look over the manga page. I read the manga she sent during the winter again and again until I memorize it. This page is drawn much more carefully than all the other than all the pages before it. The pen strokes are strong yet delicate, and the screen tone is carefully scraped. The Marine confesses love to Saigo-chan. After working through so many conflicts, Saigo-chan's face expresses that she loves him too. Saigo-chan can't stop her love from shining through. What is it? Blossoming Sakura. Blossoming Sakura. The Sakura tree lined street is blooming so much that it crowds my vision. The title goes straight to my heart. I also have something I want to say to you. I lower my messenger bag and take out a small case of it and hand it to Sakura. Open it. I had originally meant to give it to you at Kami Pro, but I take the pocket watch from the case. Turn the crown and wind up the spring. The pocket watch that had been stopped inside the box all this time now comes to life, making tick tock noises as it tells the time. I present the watch to Sakura. Sakura, I love you. I think it might be hard for you to be in a relationship with a foreigner, but please, go out with me as your partner. Sakura closes her eyes and holds the pocket watch against her chest to hear the ticks meld with her own heartbeat. Sakura slowly opens her eyes. That's the ending I wanted to see. That's the ending I wanted to see, damn it! And with that, my friends, that is the end of Tokyo School Life. Wow, this has been an amazing novel. Let me just say, this has been an amazing novel play. And from now on, it's going to be novel plays from now on, if I haven't mentioned this before. Man, after all this, Mm, excuse me.
I, I got none. So with that, I have been the Tenkai H of Gaming, and this was Tokyo School I brought to us by Dogen, Dogen, Dogen Zaka Lab, an M2 of 2015. So with that, I will see you next time for more novel plays, let's plays, and in between. So with that. So, with that, Senpai's blessings to you all. Take care, God bless. And as always, Tenkai Muso! See you next game. I'm done. <laughs>